All right, so I'm Turk Strongman. Now, listen, guys, you and I have a little powwow as guys here, okay? Pussy whipping is bad. Is bad. Pussy whipping is a bad idea, and getting pussy whipped is a bad idea. It ain't right, okay? It ain't right. Now, listen, you guys. You might say to yourself, I'm never going to get pussy whipped. I'm not going to be like that. I'm not going to be one of those guys, man. I'm not going to turn into a limp wrist, needle dick, weasel, fuck, pussy whipped. Whatever. No man. <laughs> but then you wake up one day and it happened. You've seen this, right? You've seen it. You've seen it. Haven't you? Pussy whipping is a bad idea. It's a nasty thing for a woman, for, for a female to do to a male, and it's a nasty thing. It's a tragic thing for a male to allow to have allow to happen to him. But how do you stop it? How do you stop it? It seems like whenever you, you know, right away the mind games are on with the women. They'll say no, 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 no. But you know, even if it's not intentional, it generally happens. There's this, there's this battle for who's going to control whose will. Or something like that, it feels like. You know, like trying to take over my damn will. Trying to take away my personal sovereignty in life. All in the name of a a relationship. But it doesn't feel like my relationship anymore. It's, all, it's hers, damn it. You know, I do what she says. Yeah, 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 I'm the boss, I'm the boss, I'm the boss, I'm the one who's the president in the family business. But really, when she wants something, I have to provide it where there's hell. I'm not being a husband. I'm not being a real man. But there's a loss of personal sovereignty in that. There's a loss of will to act on one's own in the relationship. It seems so natural, doesn't it? That pussy whipping just happens. Well, it is kind of natural, but it's unnecessary. And I propose that you as a man do not let it happen if it hasn't happened already in your current state of affairs. What do you do? What do you do? You swear to it, you're never going to get pussy whipped. You're not going to let this shit happen. But you get involved with a woman, you get involved with a female, and you get sucked right on in. You get sucked right on into her life, her mind. And it's goings on in connection with yours. And it's like, uh, you know, what she wants starts to just take over. Right? Here's why. The whole feminine side of manifested cosmos, let's just go all the way to the extreme, the biggest picture possible, okay? Whatever you take to be the biggest picture of the manifest cosmos, you know, manifested reality, the cosmos, uh, or what, uh, what else you want to call it? The universe of universes. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. It's feminine side of affairs. It's one pole. There's one way, you know, one characteristic of the one pole is, is feminine. It exhibits the feminine qualities such as Action basically from desire or uh, a drawing in, you know, an inward movement, drawing in, attracting, 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 drawing, 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 drawing movement, direction. This way, this way, this way, this way. That's, that's how it creates things, it gets stuff in there. You know, it, gets, it gathers what's needed. It gathers the causes of things and allows them to mature. 
an incubate, you know, to give birth to a new thing. On the other hand, the masculine pole of affairs, one of its characteristics is driving, you know, moving toward an attracted thing in the opposite direction of the female. It's, it's like pushing toward, pushing toward, pushing things into action in accordance with some desire. But when it's a woman in a, verse, in a man, interact, it's her desire by nature, right, and his will. So, can you can you see where this is going? Her desire, in attracting his will, redirecting it. You know, if it's going along like this, and here comes desire, miss desire over here, and she's got control over his will. There you go, pussy whip, right? Or is that just con healthy compromise? You decide. <laughs> At some point, there's a line that gets crossed between natural cooperation or enforced cooperation or voluntary cooperation, controlled, you know, conscious cooperation. That feels intuitively healthy. Up to a line. A little bit further, and it starts to feel like, ah, I'm losing something here. I'm losing a part of myself here that is actually worth having. I'm losing some of my will to act on my own. That can lead to a lot of problems. Like, for example, when you need to save her later on in life from, from some of the effects of her own folly. How are you going to act if you're pussy whipped? If you're, if, if, if you're a limp wrist, needle dick, weasel fuck, how are you going to act like a man when you need to? There's a potential problem. How are you going to feel good about your status in life? If you really want to just settle down and you become milk toast with a woman in your life, all right, I'm fine, 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 fine. This message isn't for everybody. Maybe being pussy whipped is exactly what you've been after all of your life ever since the day you were born. Okay, then I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to somebody who might get a little something out of here and that being pussy whipped is a tragedy, and pussy whipping a guy is nasty. It's fucking nasty. You know, and it, here's what to do, man. As soon as you meet a woman, you got to stand up for yourself. Don't let these little things that draw you in and soften you, soften your will, you know, to start doing what she wants, all, you know, letting her get this control, no matter how seductively, blah, 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 you know, you go along with what you're going to go along with. And whenever you, you know, whenever the line is reached, you stop paying attention to it. You may even say one time, this is not going to work. Just, no, no, I'm not going along with that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not me, no. But then you drop it. Don't let it eat you. Just from that point on, you know, as you, once you've said something, if it continues, if that same thing continues, especially if it continues right then, well, that's the point at which you no longer understand what the hell is going on. And it's just one of those things that you don't have to put any energy into now because you did. You already did, and now there's like there's something's broken. Over there going on, it's, it's broken. I don't understand it, so I'm going to do whatever, what I'm doing here, you know? And if she gets really up, her panties in a knot over this, and she becomes a real nasty person, and doesn't get the damn clue, and back the hell off with this stuff, this, you know, mind control shit, but I don't know if that's, you know, 
an apt term in all cases, but you know what I'm talking about is pussy whipping. Uh, so uh, whenever she comes around to you know, like some other topic or some other approach to affairs, well then you know, now she's within your realm of understanding. You know, you know she's within the uh, within the scope of you're interacting with her. But all the rest of this, if you go any further with it than what, 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 what I just laid out, then you're starting to react to her. You're getting drawn in too fast, too far. It's too out of control. Don't let somebody else's desires or will control yours beyond what you would have be the case if you had control of that choice. I mean it. Powell's over.